All right, happening today, it is the Georgia primary election runoff across our counties. There's now a congressional seat on the ballot as well as a state Senate seat, two commissioners, one in Glen, one in Camden County. And then, of course, Pierce County Sheriff, they're running up there. So depending on your party and your county, your ballot is going to look different. But something everyone does have in common, if you are going to a polling place, will be voting during a pandemic. Bernada DiGregorio joining us now with what to expect and what to avoid. All right, so when you go in to vote in Charlton County, you'll be given one glove for your dominant hand. You're also encouraged to wear a mask. There will be sneeze guards and lots of hand sanitizer. And know that poll workers will be wiping everything down. Poll workers will be busy doing this, but other than cleaning. You know, I said just bring a book or something to occupy your time while you're not <laughs> working, you know, taking care of voters. Yep, elections officials predict a pretty low turnout. It's a small election with only a few races, but these are people who will be in positions that can impact you and your family's lives. Not a small election in terms of importance. The big races are one congressional contest on the Democrat ballot and one state Senate race. Charlton County Supervisor of Elections Brenda Hodges encourages you to bring your mask and the knowledge. It breaks my heart. I see so many people walk in here and ask me, well, what are we voting for? And I'll tell them and then they'll go to the machines and vote. I'm like, you don't even know what we're voting for and you're going to go vote. But they do that. Go and find out for yourself and know what you're voting for and be an informed voter, but get out and vote. Early voting is still going on in Florida. The primary is August 18th and early voting runs through at least Saturday here in our First Coast counties. I'm Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.